Hey everybody, this is John Schwabus from policyviz.com coming to you with another Excel tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to break long lines of text in your Excel worksheet so that you can do a better job with the graphing. And then I'm gonna show you how to format those labels in an Excel chart. So just a real quick tutorial here. Hopefully this will be useful to you. I know I have had trouble with this in the past. Here I've got some just sample data the text here is not too long, but you can imagine having very long text in your cells here. Maybe you want to break it up over multiple lines. You want to add a carriage return, and that's not an easy thing to do necessarily. So, for example, let's say I made this little chart here. I'm just going to make a little bar chart. No big deal. I go in and I click, and I've got my bar chart here. I'm actually going to make this chart a little bit bigger just so you can see it. So I'll, I'll lock that aspect ratio up here. I'll hit a four. Get that chart a little bit bigger. Okay. So now let's say... For this particular data, we want to have the city on one line and the state on the next line. So, you know, maybe not so important for this particular chart, but in general, you can imagine where you'd want to have two lines of text. I can force a carriage return in Excel by going into my cell, clicking in the cell up here in the formula bar, holding down the option key and hitting the return or enter key on your keyboard. Hold those two together, you can see it moves down, and then I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna let go of the option key and hit return again, and you can see New York is now gonna be on that second line uh, below the text, and I can do that again here for California. So I'm gonna hold down the option key, hit return, hit return again, and you can see it's going to wrap. I'll do one more all the way over here, hit it again, and you can see that my cells are getting bigger. I've gone over here, I've already spaced all this data out, so I've done one at a time, and now I can insert a new bar chart. Okay, so now I've got my chart set up. Let me make it a little bit bigger for you. Again, I'll make it four by six, six, seven. Now here's the thing. Take a look at the text here. Notice how it's uh, not really aligned in a nice way, right? We kind of want to have this text all aligned, either right or left, not really centered the way it is now. It's kind of weird looking. But unfortunately, you can't really do that in Excel. If I click on the axis, uh, on this on this vertical axis here, and I go into my home tab to the regular alignment keys, you can see that there's nothing there. And if I went into the format axis menu over here, there's nothing here either. So what can I do for this particular chart? Well, I found a little bit of a trick over on one of the Microsoft message boards. And uh, those messages were really talking about one of the older versions of Excel uh, and Microsoft. But in the new version of Excel, three, uh, 365 or 2016, this works with Excel and PowerPoint, either on a Mac or a PC, this is gonna work. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to copy my chart. I'm gonna go over to PowerPoint, just have a blank slide here. I'm gonna copy in my chart. You can see that it's sort of looking for the chart, looking for the raw Excel file. Okay, grant access, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Okay, now I can select these labels and I can go into my paragraph menu. And the way you get that over on the Mac is you can go into, if I remember, into format, paragraph. There's a keyboard shortcut. It's a little more obvious, I think, on the PC version. This works on both. I'm gonna hit the paragraph tab. And now here, I can change the alignment. And now that is going to set it to the right. If I hit okay, notice how they all moved over. They're all right aligned. Let's go back in. It's a little annoying that you sort of have to test these uh, after clicking OK. I'm going to hit left. Now, this doesn't quite work. See, because it's, it's aligned within each city. So, like, I want Phoenix to be all the way over on the right. Chicago to be all the way, I'm sorry, on the left. Chicago to be on the left. That doesn't quite work. So, you know, for this particular example, maybe I'll just keep them right aligned. I think it does look a little bit better. Um, and no, none of these other options really help. I've played around. So you can see here the right align, that's pretty nice. Now what I can do is just copy that chart, go back to Excel, paste it in here, and lo and behold, that formatting is held. You can see that still referencing the right data. I can delete my old chart that's not formatted, and now I have this chart set up. There are other ways to set up the formatting here that's not as simple, requires some additional formatting, but you can see here by taking your chart, copying it, pasting it in PowerPoint, you can do a little bit of manipulation on these labels and then bring it back into Excel and you're good to go. Microsoft, if you're watching, I don't know why we can't do this in Excel natively and I don't know why we can't have everything left aligned the way we might like it, but at least it's a good first start. So I hope this was helpful. I hope it's useful to you. 
in your efforts to make your text look better in your graphs. Don't forget that option return, keyboard shortcut, and copying this chart into PowerPoint and then back again. This is John Schwabish from PolicyViz.com. Tune in again for more Excel tutorials.